Okay, we are resuming tuning process in the Volvo 850R with my recently swapped five-speed transmission. I've had a couple comments asking me how the fast tune works and the data logging process and stuff. So we got the laptop connected right now. Um, it comes with a VAGCOM cable where one end is an OBD2 plug and the other end is a USB plug that plugs into the computer. Hopefully you can see all that. But uh, so we have it connected right now. We're getting live data from the car. It's an RPM gauge. We've got the O2 sensor switching, boost, um, long-term fuel trim, short-term fuel trim, air mass meter, coolant temperature. It's pretty much a live data dash. So what I'm gonna do tonight, being that I got my buddy Floyd in the car here, my dog. Uh, I'm just going to get a baseline run, which is going to be like 15 minutes of normal city driving. And we'll check the fuel trims. Last year I was having some problems where my fuel trims were maxing out. And I was getting unmetered air from somewhere, sucking in too much air, and it was causing knock. My fuel trims were going into positive 10 the whole time. So we're going to see if I can get a normal baseline and... Send it off to Aaron Somer at Vast Tuning, see what he thinks about it. And then the next step will be uh, red line pass third gear, where he'll look at that and basically measure ignition, knock, and see if I'm ready to get a little bit more boost and step up to a three inch MAF sensor because right now it's still a two and a half inch stock MAF sensor, which is going to limit your power output to right under 300 horsepower so we're gonna take a short drive and then once I get it on the road here I'll make another video and show you what's going on all right so I might as well explain a little bit about the process as we're driving through the neighborhood here um, if you were to purchase a vast tune or any kind of tune where you do live data logging what you're basically gonna end up with no matter who supplies the tune is you're going to need a computer and you're going to need to download some kind of data logging program which it seems like the most popular option is this tuner pro xt it's a free trial um, he gave me all the links to download it with the tune whenever i purchased the tune but you could go out and download tuner pro on your own i'm sure uh, but you would need an ecu or something like mega squirt that is going to talk to the going to talk to the tuning program and let you know what's going on so the ecu is modified on the hardware side to be able to talk to this program and give readings so if you were to purchase a vast tune you're going to receive an ecu and you're going to receive a, a pdf email that gives you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to load it onto the car, how to load a new tune, you know, everything you need to do. So we're gonna hear some vibration here. My rear rotors are all fucked up and they've been shuddering a lot, so I gotta order some new rotors. So excuse that. But what you're gonna do, essentially, once you have the ECU installed in your car and you're ready to start tuning, is you're gonna get your laptop in the car. In this case, I got this thing sitting on a little five gallon bucket that I made because it was really hard to see with it just sitting on the seat. So you're gonna get your laptop in your car and it gives you real specific instructions as to how to link the ECU to this Tuner Pro program. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but the first time you open the program, you have to configure it to your tune and like I said he gives you step-by-step -step instructions it was a little bit difficult for me but it wasn't impossible um, you know I got it done in an evening where I got it all connected and what you'll do is turn on the computer uh, with your car off you're gonna plug in this VAGCOM cable to your OBD2 port wherever that may be located plug it into the computer start the tuner pro program and then there is a small 
like blue arrow left and right thing that connects to the connects to the car and like I said this is all in the instructions I printed them out so that I can bring them in the car and read them but you'll connect it once it's connected you'll be able to see your RPMs your boost and everything you'll know that that stuff is functioning you'll know you're connected and it says connected down here in the bottom of the screen so he'll instruct you to have the car warm up get to normal operating temperature 10 or 15 minutes of driving and then the first log he's going to want is just normal city driving, you know, like going to the store or whatever. He wants a 20 minute log where you come to a complete stop a couple times, um, you know, you hit highway speeds, just normal driving. And he's going to check to make sure it's not like uh, running super rich, running super lean, what have you. Uh, once you get that first log, then he'll start sending you a tune with boost. And it'll work the same way with anybody, any tuner program. So when you're ready, once you connect it and it's connected, you're not recording anything. Once your car is warmed up and you're ready to record, there is a little record light right there, that little red, see the play and the pause and the record. You will click record and it will start to record. Gonna stop recording the tune. What we're gonna do now is press the stop button. Uh, hopefully you can see this. But uh, here's my mouse thing. I'm gonna hit stop, and then it'll ask me if I want to save that. And you get a chance to type in the file. So we're just gonna put, I don't know, driving, and for. 19 it's April of 2019 and we're gonna save that okay so up oh, it's loading up there so it's saved now we can disconnect which is this two little these two arrows here and down in here you'll see where it says DA not connected so it's disconnected no RPM reading, no O2 sensor switching. Shut the car off. And we're done.